teachers are our life guides. School, life, is the dream. The school should be sacred, like a church. The environment should be alive and thriving. It should reflect our divine nature, our very best qualities as human beings. These schools are where our blessings from God, the Creator, however you believe or choose not to, our children are gifts, our pride and joy on this journey. We are the nurturers of the doing our very best to ensure the wisdom and knowledge being taught to our children and community is what our hearts really reflect, our schools aligning with the present needs and knowledge. Create and cultivate community that can contribute to sustaining a global, planetary, human and living, balanced, harmonious, communicating creation. So I'm going to begin by talking about the journey back to God which is one of the central images of Sufism. You are a wayfarer and traveling a path back to God. Of course there is, there is no such thing because how can you go back to God? It implies that God is other than where you are. And that would imply that God is too good and there is God that there is good. take me back to the most premises of Sufism has to do with oneness. Everything is equal. Everything is one. Everything is one. There is nothing other than one. So, in a way, the very simple image of being a wayfarer on the path of separation is like Learning about poverty and learning about peace and learning about trust.